So here we are. We are slap bang in the middle of um, of the two camps. Um, Luke and Ross have departed. They've gone back. Um, I believe they arrived back in England a few hours ago um, after leaving last night. So I know they've had a great time. It's been a really good experience for them both. Um, I'm really pleased to be a part of that and say I'm just I'm just delighted that they they've really really enjoyed themselves. Um, so before they departed yesterday, we managed to catch up with some of the Hoop Group staff because um, the guys really wanted to discuss sort of opportunities um, and how they go about getting those opportunities moving forward with regards to coming to colleges or prep schools in America. Um, because I think the, the view in general for, for young basketball players is that you, you turn up to these camps or you go and play really well somewhere and the coaches and the scouts, they come find you. And that's, that's the sort of general thoughts of it. Um, but we were given a lot more of an insight into the fact is that, yeah, you, you get the, the smaller percentage of, of real top, quality junior players which that may happen to um, but the majority of players um, division 2 division 3 um, sometimes sort of divi lower division 1 as well uh, you've got to go find them um, the players have got to send out emails send out games um, present themselves and make themselves look good um, and not quite as easy as just sending a couple of highlight tapes and saying, hey, look, this is me. What do you think? Because it's, for a coach, it, it doesn't mean anything. Um, they really want to see who you are, where you live, uh, most importantly, your education. You know, what do you do in your spare time? What sort of person are you? You know, because you could send a highlight tape. Um, the coach doesn't know how good the opposition is. You know, the coach doesn't know what division you're in. The coach doesn't know if you just had, like, one good game, maybe. Um, they really want to get a full insight of who you are. Um, and, you know, looking through the, the divisions, you've got your prep schools. They do offer um, occasional international scholarships or part scholarships for high-educated players. Um, you've got Division Three who don't offer scholarships. You've got Division Two again, who offer part scholarships, maybe the odd one. Um, but the key is, is, is if you're educated well and you've got good grades, like you can save yourself a ton of money. You know, we're looking at, you go on a college website and you'll be looking at a £50,000 a year tuition. You know, if you've got a, you know, in the American sort of education system, if you've got a GPA of 3.0, you're paying 40000 If you've got a 3.5 GPA, you could take an extra ten thousand pound of your tuition. So, the guys at Who Group went through with all our players um, about sort of what's the next best steps. Um, and I think the conclusion was simple for the guys: is they need to go home, they need to chat with their families, and discuss um, financially where they are, um, what opportunities there is. They need to two look at getting their grades up, um, and that is. You know, I know it's a little bit too late for some of the guys at the GCSEs, but you know, there's there's additional courses and education programs that you can do, which can be transferable over here. So if you can get grades up and if you can get your education up, that's going to help massively. And the next thing is presenting themselves in an email, emailing hundreds of coaches of Division Threes, um, hundreds of coaches of Division Twos of prep schools, and just getting yourself out there, letting people know who you are and keep going with it. They say keep going with it, keep going with it, and when you come to events like this, let the coaches know, hey look, I'm gonna be at Who Group this year, come and check me out. Um, so I know the guys have got a lot of homework too. Uh, Zach from Who Group has been really helpful. He's given them their email, and he's gonna email them out a load of contacts um, to help them sort of progress through this and give them a real nice format to send over in an email form when they do talk to coaches. So. I think the guys are hungry for it, so I think they will put the work in. Um, but it's clear to see that if you don't put the work in, then 
well, you, you won't get anything out of it. They're not going to come to you, especially um, international students. So, no, that's been really good for the guys. And I know Harry, Ben and Joey are going to have the same meeting at the end of, um, of their time here. It's not something, really, that Hoop could do for everyone, um, but they've offered it to us. So we're taking them up on the offer and it's, it's really good of them. And I think we're going to take full advantage of it. Um, we've had a couple of days off. Like I said before, we've been been to Philadelphia, been shopping. Um, we had a day of rest yesterday when Luke and Ross came, uh, went home, and Harry, Ben, and Joey were in the sports hall in the evening, and they were having a workout with myself, and then a workout with some of the hoop group staff. Um, they were joined by a couple of other players, um, one who's a Division One prospect, one who's a Division Two prospect. So they had a good workout in the evening. Um, I came up to, to sleep pretty early, but I think they were still down there with the Hoop group guys, so that was good. I'm really pleased with them that they're, they're really making the most out of the situation they've got here. Um, we've got one more day of rest. We're probably going to have two workouts today just to keep the guys moving and, and, and get them in the gym a little bit. And then um, the Camp 2 is going to start tomorrow. So, yeah, I'm really excited again for Camp 2. I, I, I'll give a, a brief sort of uh, diary of, of what the guys get up to. Um, I want to try and record some of the um, the sessions that the guys do here at Hoop Group, some of the, um, the lecture sessions about um, about coach development, about player development, about um, recruitment. I want to try and get some, some films of that so we can, we can show everyone back at the club. But, you know, again, it's been... A couple of good days. I've enjoyed relaxing, but the mayhem of uh, Camp 2 is going to start tomorrow, especially as there is a lot more players. You've got, we've got about 750 coming uh, next week. Well, sorry, tomorrow. Um, 750 coming tomorrow, and the, the levels got higher again. Uh, where the first camp, I believe, was a few Division 1s, um, a lot of Division 2, high Division 2s, low Division 2s. And, and Division 3s, where I believe the high percentage of, of the older guys are Division 1 prospects, high Division 2 prospects. Um, so the level is going to be up a notch again. So again, it's going to be another great experience for the for the three guys that is, are still here. Um, I need to go get some breakfast. And um, thanks very much. I'll speak to you soon.